All right. Uh, so during your time in jail, uh, did you have any run-ins with Big Meech? Yeah, I was. Um, you know, it was a lot of hype because I went in before Meech. There was a lot of hype on them when they was catching the indictment and all of that. I was actually um, in a cell with a guy from Detroit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Kenny High, you know. And uh, Kenny High was from uh, Detroit, and he used to always speak highly of Meech, you know what I'm saying? Other than that, we was reading the books and all of that, listening to the stories, hearing about the party, all of that, even in the bed. So when uh, the indictment came down on them, you know what I'm saying, we knew that they was uh, coming in. So when they was coming in, man, you know, I had I had a 30 year sentence. I don't think Obama, I know Obama, them program hadn't even been uh, implemented at that time. So I was doing a 30 year sentence. So I was trying to get done with mine. You know what I'm saying? Then hearing that he got 30 years, I was like, okay, he still got some daylight. You know what I'm saying? He still got some daylight because then people want to give him an uh, elbow. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You know. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Uh, so, uh, also, I learned that uh, the dude from Death Row. David Mack, uh, was that one of the jails you were at? Yeah. Yeah, old man came to the um, Greenville FCI. Came to Greenville, man. And um, actually one of the 18th Street uh, Mexicans, right? At 18 on the street. They actually threw me in the cell with him as soon as I got off the bus when I got to Greenville. But I moved out the next day, you know what I'm saying? But it was cool for the one night because we was at a medium and they weren't really smashing the gas up. You can't sleep in the room, you know what I'm saying? But the next day I uh, I got with my people, you know what I'm saying? But it was always a mutual respect. So when the dude got there, you know, he made, he made it his business, to, the Mexican made it his business to pull me up on a one on one. You know what I'm saying? I did sleep in the room with this motherfucker for one night, so, you know what I'm saying? And I just always, you know, once I got with my people, he see how I was moving, you know? So, he pulled me up and he was like, man, this dude that's on the yard, man, he, this motherfucker was putting guns and drugs and all of that shit on my people, man. And, uh, man, there's too many homies here locked up, man, because of him, you know what I'm saying? He can't stay yeah. here, you know what I'm saying? So, so he was in the the David Mack dude was in general population. Yeah. You would think that he would be in protective custody. Nah, nah, nah. In Greenville, we had this um program set up called um, Tough Man. You sign a Tough Man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They they locked him up after the um, Mexican got word that he was on the yard and all of that and the whispers started, they snatched them straight up. You know what I'm saying? But in Greenville, you can sign a tough man. And when you sign a tough man, they let you back out on the yard. Like, you know what I'm saying? So he, way, signed, he signed a paper saying yeah, he, he, he wanted way. to go back <clears throat> onto the general population. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, he wanted to go back. You know what I'm saying? He came back. And you know, a lot of black dudes were really hoping that they kept him. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't want to make the decisions on the Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Oh, because he was he was black. Yeah, because so he was black. Cause if they so harmed they was, him, they would, they would have to deal yeah, with you know the what I'm entire saying? black car. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So the blacks going to have to step up because the Mexicans can't just smash the gas on them. You know what I'm saying? So I see, I now see. you putting the blacks in, in, in a situation. Hmm. Okay. We just roll that butter. We just roll that butter. We just roll that butter. We just roll that butter.